All right, scholars, thanks for checking in. I'm going to show you how you can use Google Spreadsheet to do the calculations for auto acceleration. So log into Gmail, go to Google Docs, click Create Spreadsheet. And the first thing we're going to do is give your spreadsheet a name. So let's call this Auto Acceleration. Your first name, your last name, and period one or three, whichever it is. Okay. Let's zoom in here if we can. Uh, and again. Okay. All right. So this is a spreadsheet, and you'll notice all these rectangles called cells. This is cell B5. It's kind of like Battleship. So we're going to enter our data. First, we need to have um, column headers. So this is going to be initial speed. Then we click over to the next one. And we say final speed. You can also press the tab button and it'll take you to the next one. Change in speed, time interval, and acceleration. You can always pause the video if you need to do some typing to get caught up. Okay, let's take the example where you may have started from rest and gone to 30 miles per hour. So we're going to put a zero for initial speed. We're going to type in 30 for final speed. And um, as far as the units go, we have to do just numbers here. And um, I'll show you that if you were to type in 30 and then put MI over H, then it's going to get confused by this. Notice how I put it over on the left because it's no longer seeing this as a number. It's just seeing it as text and it won't be able to do any calculations with it. So you must leave it only as numbers. All right, that means we're going to put our units up on top, miles per hour. We'll do the same thing for initial speed. And the same thing for change in speed. Notice what it did. It made this taller so that all the numbers, all the letters could fit in. But we can widen this column by clicking and dragging. Clicking and dragging some more. There we go. All right, and time interval units would be seconds. And acceleration units would be miles per hour per second. All right, we'll widen this one too. Okay, here's where the fun begins. I'm going to show you how you can use formulas in spreadsheets to do automatic calculations. So, we're going to have it automatically calculate the change in speed. It'll need to know the final speed, it'll need to know the initial speed. And we tell it what to do with those numbers. So it starts off with the equal sign. And then we click on this cell here, B2. And we tell it to subtract whatever that number is from whatever number is in A2. We'll hit enter, and voila, it gives us 30 as the answer. Now, check this out. If we were to go back and change 0 to another number, like maybe you started at 5 miles per hour, then you enter 5, and voila, it automatically um, changed the answer. Because it's just thinking of it like a formula. Whatever number is in B2 minus whatever number is in A2. So this is one of the powers of spreadsheets. It, it, it updates automatically. Now, as far as the time interval goes, let's say your car went, let's go back to zero, by the way. Okay, let's say that your car went from zero to 30 in um, seven seconds, or 7.2 seconds. Okay, now, how do we calculate acceleration? Acceleration is defined as the rate of change in speed. So, the change in speed divided by the time it took. So here's what our formula will look like. 
equals change in speed and divide by that would be the slash whatever here is the time interval and hit return that's a lot of digits we would like this to be rounded and with your measurements um, your car measures speed to the nearest whole number I think reasonably we can only state our acceleration to probably two sig figs or let's say one decimal place so we need to get rid of some of these numbers and here's how we do it go to you can click on this whole column go to format number and tell it that you want to have custom decimals tell it to have one decimal place okay so now it's rounded to 4.2 alright let's take a look at another example let's say that you are getting off the freeway you were going 65 miles per hour and you measured how fast you could slow down to 25 miles per hour now do we have to go in and type in the formula again here no we don't we've already typed in the formula up here and all we're gonna do is click on this little square and drag it down and look at that it automatically calculated the difference of 25 and 65 if we double click on this cell it will show us the formula that's that it's using to get that number okay um, so time interval let's say that that occurred over a time interval of 4.8 seconds so same thing over here we can do this formula and just drag it down and your car was accelerating with a, at a rate of negative 8.3 miles per hour per second. Okay, so what do we do then from here? I would like you, I want you to do at least three accelerations and three decelerations. Um, and notice, by the way, before we move on, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put in miles per hour just to show you why it doesn't like that. So all of a sudden it says, error, not a number, 30 miles per hour. All right, so we got to go back and get rid of that. Okay, so it's it will automatically save your work as you go, and you're going to need to share this with me so I can see your work. And the way you're going to do that is go to the share button, 